Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha Now they set off together in search for a new place to stay. They could no longer return to the castle. What should they do now? As they were on their way, they met their old friend, the baker's boy. The baker's boy was startled when he saw the king. He had never seen him outside the castle before. After the family explained to him what had happened, the little boy didn't hesitate for a second and said, We have enough room for you all. Come with us. At first the king hesitated, but then he was grateful for the opportunity and followed the baker's boy home. Once there, the baker's boy explained to his mother what had happened and that they needed a place for the king and his family. The baker's mother didn't hesitate for a second and knew that they still had a place for themselves in the barn. She would never think of letting the king spend the night in the barn, so she took her son with her and left leaving her little hut to the king and his family. The king remembered what had happened in the castle the day before, that he had sent the baker's boy home without any money. He didn't think they lived in such a small hut and just threw him out. He comforted in his queen and told her how much he regretted dealing with the baker's boy like that. They have so many empty rooms in the castle, but the baker's boy gave them everything he had, his hut. You were right so many times, he said to his queen, but he didn't want to believe it until now. Now life has taught him a lesson, thought the queen, but didn't tell him. I'm glad you think differently, she said, and was happy that the king was thinking about all these things. The little prince, on the other hand, still needed time to come to terms with this new situation. He thought so often about his room and all his toys. He would love to play with everything again, but now it's all gone. Suddenly, a boy from the village came out of nowhere and said to him, Hey, what are you doing and what are you making that face for? Come on, let's play together. Wow, the prince was annoyed by the little boy. Leave me alone, I don't want to play at all. Who gave you the right to talk to me anyway? I am the prince, don't you recognize me? Oh well, what's wrong with him? thought the boy and said to him, It doesn't matter whether you're a prince or not. Every child likes to play. Come on, don't be so sad there by the stream. Let's play together. Never mind, thought the little prince. I've never had any friends. This could be fun. Okay, I'll come and play with you, but you have to walk ahead, said the little prince. The village boy thought this was funny and thought to himself, Well, fine by me. It doesn't matter if I run ahead. Come on, I'll just show you where I always play, he said to the prince. This is where I always play, he said to the prince. And the prince looked stupid and said, And where should your toy be? Here's my toy, said the village boy. It's just a plate. Then the village boy replied, Yes, and it's not even broken. If you like, we can make mud pies together. Don't you have any other toys? The prince asked him, Other toys? No, but the plate is great, isn't it? It's not broken. We can't hurt ourselves on it. And you know what? I'd like to give it to you as a present, he said to the prince. Now the prince didn't understand that at all. Why do you want to give it to me? He asked the village boy. The village boy laughed and said, Well, that's what you do between friends. And the prince had a friend for the first time. He was so overwhelmed with emotions that he hugged his new friend out of reflex. It's okay, it's okay, said the village boy. It's only a plate after all. Now they were playing happily and contentedly together until the little prince stumbled over something. Oops, what's that? he said to the village boy. The village boy was completely surprised and said, It wasn't like that before. I think there's a cave under there. Come on, let's find out what's in there. 
The prince was now also very curious to find out what might be in there. Mom, what's next? Go on! No, the story is far too long. I'll have to continue tomorrow. Look, Musa has fallen asleep and he wants to listen in so much. I'm going to put Musa to bed now and please lie down. Don't forget to recite your protective surahs. Assalamu alaikum dear play Muslim fans, quite an exciting story, be there again next time and if you don't want to miss it, subscribe to us for free. See you inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.